in today's video, we are going to be building a creeper farm. And the creeper farm will actually help us get a lot of gunpowder because we need TNT to get netherite. Now, netherite is actually something we're going to be able to need to be able to get to that next level in our Minecraft world. So, let's get into the video. Hey, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to another video. Welcome to episode 11. And in this video, we're actually going to be doing something pretty crazy. And I'm actually pretty excited to do. But before we get into the actual video, I'm going to do something before we even do that. I'm going to get our books here because I actually, in the last video, I did build a dragon. If you guys haven't checked that out, go check that out now before you even watch this video. But now I'm going to put a chest here because I have some books. And I'm going to put the books maybe in a chest. I don't know where, the, where to put the chest. Maybe I put it right there. Mm, nah, <laughs> we're not going to put it there. You know what? We'll put it. Can you put it there? Yeah, we'll put it right there. We'll just put our books in there. But I do have 30 levels, as you can see. So we're going to grab one of these books because I'm going to try and get efficiency five and maybe some fortune on that bad boy. So, oh, we do need some lapis. And if you're new to my channel, this is the dragon. This is what I built in the last video. So if you want to see me actually build it, go check it out. Anyways, let's get that lapis. Okay, and I've got my lapis. So let's go down again. And we're actually going to go and change this. Hopefully, we can actually get efficiency five. That would be very nice. I would actually appreciate that a lot because we're going to need it for this video because it will help me a lot. So here we go. Let's see what we can get. Power three, quick charge one. Ah, oh. but you know what? You know what we could do? We could probably make another diamond pickaxe and enchant that one and see what we, we can get on that. One. So let's grab our 20 diamonds. I'm going to have to go mining again. God damn. Make a new pickaxe. Here we go and see if we can get really good on this goal. I think I do need also some more bookshelves now the problem i think i have with this little enchanting area is that i think it actually doesn't go up to level 30 so i think i'm gonna have to extend it a little bit more so maybe just like a little bit more bookshelves here probably help let's see if we can just like i think that, was, that should do to be honest maybe maybe we have to get rid of this there we go let's see what we can get now level 30 there we go so unbreaking oh oh okay all right all right come on come on efficiency five efficiency five or efficiency four we need efficiency four you know what? We can get efficiency four and then combine them. Efficiency four, efficiency four, unbreaking three only. No, no, damn it. All right, that's okay. That's okay. What can we get on the, on this? No, nothing. Damn. But you know what we can do? We can actually combine this and now we'll have unbreaking three on that pickaxe. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I'm not going to lie. That hurts. And so the mission for today's video is we're going to make an a TNT farm because I really need to make a TNT farm. If you want to call it a creeper farm or a TNT farm, it's up to you, but I'm going to make a TNT farm. And with that farm is going to help us get netherite because i think it's time to get netherite in this in this series because honestly it's been a long time coming and i've you know we've have we have diamonds i've had diamonds for a while now I've had diamond gear and I think it's time to get netherite. But to help us with getting netherite, we're going to need to make a TNT farm. And so the TNT farm is actually going to be a lot better for us because obviously in the nether, netherite is very scarce or rare, I guess. So we're going to have to use the TNT to actually blow up the whole entire nether. We're going to strip mine and use the TNT to blow up everything. And then we could probably find netherite a lot easier. We're also going to have to dig a lot for sand. So that's all right. We can actually go over this way. There's a lot of sand over there as well. But to start our actual TNT farm, I'm going to have to go up 200 blocks in the sky so i don't actually know where i'm gonna do it i think i might do it pretty close to our base just so we can like kind of a afk farm but i think i'm gonna have to do it over here and it's gonna be all right because i think it's gonna be better over the ocean so i can just in case i fall in the middle over here would be pretty good or maybe over there i'm actually thinking maybe here because we could probably do it close enough to our base where i, can, I don't even have to be here i can just chill on my base and do and work on my base at the same time as just getting creepers, uh, cre just getting gunpowder. Have you ever had a dream that that you um you had you 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 could? What the fuck are you talking about? But to get started on the TNT farm, we're actually gonna need a lot more stuff. So the materials that I'm gonna need for today are a lot of wood planks, like a lot of wood planks. We're also gonna need about six stacks of trapdoors, two sticky pistons, two hoppers, comparators. We're also gonna need some redstone and we're gonna need five water buckets. We're also gonna need fence gates, a lot of magma blocks. And the last thing we're gonna have to get is tinted glass. Now, I don't know what color I'm gonna actually go with the tinted glass, but I think I'm gonna do around probably black because that kind of just like, you know, it kind of suits. I don't know, I feel like, I feel like just black. With that being said, let us get started. So I'm gonna have to go out into the world and go get some wood. But before we even do that, I'm gonna go empty out my inventory. Now, the good thing is that we do have sticky pistons left over from our piston door that we have in front of our nether portal right over there. You can see the button kind of right there, but that is pretty good. So we don't actually have to go get sticky pistons. We don't have to go get any slime balls, which is a pain in the ass to get. We do need a lever to actually activate the hopper system. We're also gonna need to make hoppers. We do have a lot of iron, but we're gonna need more. So we're gonna have to do a lot of collecting in this video. 
I think we're going to have to go over to a little forest area, which is kind of just over there. We're going to go to the forest. We are going to collect as much wood as possible because we are going to need a lot of wood. But before we do that, I'm going to go and do something that we're going to need to do before we even collect the wood. So we're going to need to let's see what level we're on now. So we're on level 63. We're going to have to go up up to like level 215 because the only reason we're going to have to do that is because that a lot of mobs spawn near caves, right? And if we do it closer to the caves, the mobs aren't going to spawn or creepers aren't going to spawn in our TNT farm. So the problem with that is that we are not going to have enough creepers spawning because they're all going to be spawning in the caves. So I went up too high. Let's just do that. Okay, cool. With that being said, let us go all the way up to 215. <laughs> Why did it go invisible? Wait, why are the blocks invisible? Are you guys seeing this? Wait, why? Why did it go invisible? What the hell? Why does it go invisible? <gasps> is my game broken? What is going on? Why is it invisible? <laughs> it's good. Yeah, okay. It's all right. We fixed it. We fixed it. And we've made it to level 100. Now, all we have to do is... Oh, look. Look at that shipwreck over there. I've been to that. I remember that. Do you guys remember that? Hey, there's a crafting table. Oh my God. We can see everything from up here. I think the village is over that way as well. But I can't. It's not loaded in. Uh. Anyways, from this level, we're going to have to go up 115 more. So let's go. And it's gone invisible again. Why? Why? I don't actually know why it's doing that. But anyways, we are literally taller than my dragon. That's insane. Okay. And we've made it to level 200. We're going to have to go up 15 more blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And now the TNT farm is, this is where it's going to be. So we're going to actually put a water source right here. So just, just so I can actually come back very easily. So oh, you know what? Let's just drop down. You know what? There's water anyways, all the way at the bottom. Oh my God. God, mother <laughs> damn it. That was, that was insane. That's actually the most scary thing I've ever done in my life. All right. As that comes down, what we're going to do now is actually go and smash all these trees and actually just clear this whole area because we're going to need a lot of oak. I think instead of going and breaking all the trees around our base, we're going to have to go a lot further out this way let's get started i'm getting hungry george what's going on george hey hello hey my boy george hey yo george you mind if you just you wanna, do you want to get in this little hole can you can you oh george doesn't want to george george listen listen i know george 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 no george don't leave me please why are you running? Sorry, George. Oh, damn. That looks like a grave. No, nah, I feel bad for George. George, no, nah, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry, George. You can leave. You can leave. Come here. Come here. Yeah, there you go. I'm sorry, George. I'm sorry. I feel bad. I feel I feel so bad. I didn't have to do him like that. I really just dug underneath him. George is joining us with our little tree farm expedition. If you guys love George as much as I do, you can comment George down below. <laughs> but anyways, let's get back into this farming. Bloody hell. We're going to need a lot of oak. Fire out, man. So we have five stacks and a bit. So we're going to get maybe like a couple more stacks of oak. And then I think we should be sweet. We're also going to have to get some fence gates because it's going to be a way to actually kind of narrow down the creepers. And we're going to actually be able to kind of control how many creepers drop down at the same time. So that will help a lot. Okay. And I have one more stack of logs. You know what? That should be fine for now. But as I go back, I'm going to go plant these saplings because you know what? We're going to need a lot more just in case, you know, if we need more, I'm going to come down from up there, from all the way up there and probably have to collect some more oak as well. So just in case, we're going to plant all these bad boys back. Okay, so now that we have all this oak, what we're going to need now is actually a ton of trapdoor. So I'm going to go and collect as much trapdoors as, as I can and I'll be right back. Okay, and now I have collected all the trapdoors we're probably going to need. I've collected about eight stacks just in case because I don't know actually how much we're going to do. I know we're going to do five levels of the actual TNT farm all the way up there. We're going to do five levels on top of each other. But I do know that we do need a lot of trapdoors. So I made a couple extra just in case. Now, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go, we're probably going to go and collect some magma blocks. Magma blocks are probably going to be the most aged thing to find because I know there's a lot in the nether, but also at the same time, I don't want to go in the nether. I know there's a lot underground in the caves, like down there. So I might go check down there and then I might go and check in the nether. But before I do that, I'm actually going to go and combine these two pickaxes because I actually didn't even do that. I fully forgot. So if I just, yep, efficiency four. Okay, you know what? And I'm going to also rename it. Why the heck not? Let's, let's rename it. I think I have the best name. The cobble. Wait, the cobble. 
Gobbler. The Cobble Gobbler. You know what? Get rid of the 3000. Cobble Gobbler. Oh, look at that. We now have the Cobble Gobbler. I mean, I don't think I can ever, I can rename this. You know what? Maybe we can. Oh, we can. Okay. okay, okay. You know what? What should we name it? You know what? I have the best idea. We're going to name our sword George for the for George the chicken. There we go. For some reason, all my buckets have disappeared. Oh, you know what? They could be actually in the chest in front of the dragon. Let's go check that. Oh, dragon. Why'd you steal my bucket, bro? Nope. Damn. I have a lot of spare stuff from the dragon build, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to use it for anything. We have a lot of sand. Oh, we do have a lot of sand for the... Yes, that's going to that's gonna come in so handy for the TNT that we're going to need to use in the next episode for the netherite. And if you guys are keen to see that video, don't forget to subscribe. But okay, so I'm going to go over here and I'm going to go place the redstone and stuff in our little chest over there, right there. Hello. Okay, so we're going to put our redstone down here for now. And so... What we've collected so far is we've got our planks check and we've got all of our trap doors and we've got some redstone and sticky pistons and we don't really need the torches what the heck is going on we also need the five water buckets we have one bucket right here we can just there we go that's one but we're going to need a lot more we're going to need four more water buckets we're also going to need some hoppers and some comparators and 16 blocks of cobble. We can also do that. We're going to need 16 blocks of cobble right here. There we go. We have 16 as well. So there we go. The only thing I'm really missing is the fence gates and the stained glass. So you know what? I'm going to go smelt these. The stained glass actually helps keep all the light out because, you know, obviously it's easier to see how many mobs are inside also from the outside. And it'll be better because it'll block out all the sunlight. So... What we're also going to need is actually the minecart. We're actually going to need the minecart and make it into a hopper minecart. So you know what? We're going to grab this iron and we're going to probably, we're going to put our sand in there, some sand in there and 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 some sand in there 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 we go okay okay so now we're actually almost ready so we've got our two chests that will help us put all the stuff from the hoppers into the chest and then from the mica hopper which will go around and put the gunpowder into the hoppers which are going to go into the chest if that makes any sense we're also going to need these powered rails and the normal rails for the minecart hopper which will be circling round and round and round underneath the whole entire farm we're gonna need to go get some magma blocks now while we actually wait for this all this all this glass to smelt i almost forgot we're gonna need to make ourselves some buckets so we're gonna need to make four more buckets which is okay there we go and we're gonna need to get ourselves oops, we're gonna need to get ourselves four buckets of water which is fine because we have a lot of water around us and there we and there we go so now we have five buckets of water i'm also gonna need to make dispensers and observers but i'll be right back and make those because it's basically the same thing that you guys just saw but it will take a while because i'm gonna actually have to go make some bows as well so i'll be right back with some dispensers and observers and then we should be able to go get some magma blocks and start the tnt farm and I've gone ahead and collected the magma blocks, but now I'm going to go and put these bad boys in here. And basically we're done. All we have to do is actually probably get a little bit more black stained glass and then we can start. But before we do that, I think we can actually start straight away. So I'm going to actually grab these and I'm going to grab what else do I need? I think I'm going to actually just grab the trap doors and probably uh, all this oak right here and then we can probably go up and start building and then we can start actually building our tnt farm i'm excited i'm excited i'm excited i'm gonna go out nine blocks so we're gonna go one two three four goodness gracious that lagged one two three four five six seven eight nine and then we're gonna go back one two three four five six seven eight nine there we go we're gonna go nine this way as well nine and then we should probably go nine that way before we even do that, I am going to go. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to go down and collect this water source because I don't have a bucket on me just so I can actually build nine that way without not being I, like, you know, I obviously want to be able to come back up. Whee! Let us get started on this TNT farm and this will help us get netherite in the next episode. If you guys are excited to see me get netherite in the next video, hopefully it works out pretty well. And if you're excited to see this TNT farm turn out, hopefully efficiently, then leave a like down below and let's get into it. Let's do it.
So I'm kind of going to go through while I build what I'm doing. So basically the magma blocks will obviously kill the creepers at the bottom once they fall down. Now each oak level is actually going to have a dispenser and an observer. Now the observer is actually going to detect when the water spills out of the dispenser and it will activate the next level. So once it does that, you actually get to see that each water bucket falls and falls and all the creepers will fall into where the fence gates are and all fall down to the magma blocks. Now underneath the magma blocks is where I'm gonna put the mine cart so it can kind of collect and all go into a hopper chest. At this point in the build, I kind of realized that I was doing something wrong and which was the stained glass instead of tinted glass. I had made so much stained glass and it wasn't working and I was like, why isn't it working? I thought that stained glass blocked out the sunlight, but instead I got it mixed up with tinted glass. So here we are replacing all the stained glass with tinted glass. So now I'm going to build a water elevator. Now the water elevator is going to help us get from A to B as fast as possible because I feel like it's faster than a ladder, but we don't have elytras yet, so we can't really do that either. So I feel like this is our only option and here I am building it. So enjoy. For some reason, I chose to use blue stained glass, which actually does not help for you guys to see at all. It, like, it kind of just blends in with the water. So I know I look like I'm floating, but I am using blue stained glass. the area that I have built uh, off screen so you guys have probably seen this already but this is the air area where I'm going to be sitting most of the time just to get the AFK kind of gunpowder come in and I'm going to go down here and this is going to be this is going to be the elevator and there's going to be a little section down here right around here if I can open the door and just oh well I've missed it there we go so if you come up here then we should go into here and there's gunpowder and it's already starting and so it, it basically works but I think I'm gonna have to make it a bit go a bit faster which means i'm gonna have to go all the way back to the top and kind of change the cobble because the cobble is actually a way and make it's like a mechanism to be able to kind of speed up or like how many how fast the water would come out but all i have to do is kind of sit up there i haven't afk'd yet but i will be doing that and hopefully we can get it off we've got not 55 gunpowder already so it should be sweet this is the way we go up so it will take us all the way back up to our afk area there we go look at that and that's basically it like there's the elevator and you know obviously this is go this goes this part goes down this part goes up but you know, I used all this blackstone because I had heaps of spare blackstone from the dragon build. And hopefully I'll have enough gunpowder by the next episode to be able to make. There we go. Oh, you can probably see them now there. You can hear them. There we go. Oh, look, the creepers right there. Look at that. And it should die and it should go into that. And then we got up more gunpowder. There we go. So basically that's it. And, it, and if, we, if I stand up there, it should automatically spawn the creepers and probably spiders as well. And that's basically it. And that's, that's really the farm. I mean... It did take me a while to do. I don't really want to drop down there. I should probably put a block there. But yes. Okay, we're just going to... There we go. And so that should be sweet. I made this out of slabs because we don't want mobs to spawn here as well. And I made the top one out of slabs as well. 
because we also don't want mobs to spawn up there. So now I was also thinking to build a bridge because I mean, I'm going to need a bridge from here to over there. I mean, it'd probably be a lot easier to get to anyways, but for now we're just going to swim over. I think I might just build a bridge off screen. It won't take long. It'll probably just be a basic bridge anyways. It'll just take us over here. I might need to terraform or probably just cut down all these trees and maybe have a little way to kind of get over back to here. But that will lead us into the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Smash that like button down below because why the hell not? Let's try to get to 10 likes. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.